हेलो फ्रेंड्स एट फर्स्ट हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड बेस्ट विशेस फॉर द फ्यूचर टू स्टार्ट लर्निंग ऑफ एम एस ए वी मस्ट नो प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देयर डिफरेंसेस एंड वेरियस टर्म्स यूज इन एम एस ए स्टडी टू स्टार्ट विथ आई हैव एक्सप्लेन प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स बिगिन टू लर्न दिस इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट स्टार्टिंग विथ फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल्स Fundamentals of probability. An event, an event is one or more of the possible outcomes of doing something. For example, if you toss a coin, getting a tail is an event, and getting a head is another event. An experiment, an experiment is an activity that produces an event. For example, tossing a coin, drawing a card from a deck of cards. Sample space, the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. is called the sample space for the experiment in a coin toss experiment sample space is head and tail if we consider this diagram as a example sample space of the diagram which is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 as well as a b c d e f probability it is a chance of occurring an event probability of an event is the ratio of chance favoring the event by total possible event for example tossing of an coin is an experiment here sample space yes is equal to head and tail event 1 is getting the head and event 2 is getting the tail for example in tossing a coin experiment what is the probability of getting a head here probability p of getting a head which is equal to 1 by 2 which is equal to 0.5 that is 50 percentage mutually exclusive events two events are said to be mutually exclusive if one and only one of them can take place at a time in our example of tossing a coin only head or tail can occur collectively exhaustive list when a list of the possible events that can result from an experiment includes every possible outcome the list is said to be collectively exhaustive in our example the list head and tail is collectively exhaustive independent events when outcome of one event does not influence the outcome of another event the two events are called as independent events in our example the outcome of first tossing and second tossing are independent types of distribution there are too many types of distribution of data but we are focusing on mainly five types of distribution one binomial distribution two poisson distribution three exponential distribution four variable distribution and the most important five normal distribution i have already explained normal distribution in very detail during study of histogram but it's worth to see it again out of these five distributions binomial and poisson distribution are for discrete variables whereas remaining three are for continuous variable i will explain distributions for discrete variables in this video discrete and continuous variable variable is discrete if it can take no more than countable number of values for example the number of defective atoms in a sample of 20 atoms variable is continuous if it can take any value in the interval for example the weights from a couple of 20 serial boxes one binomial distribution the binomial distribution describes discrete data situations where there can be only two results in a random experiment examples are pass or failure compliance or non compliance yes or no measures of central tendency and dispersion for the binomial distribution p is equal to probability of success q is equal to probability of failure and which is equal to 1 minus p mean is equal to n into p and standard deviation which is equal to square root of n p q here n is the total number of observations let x be a binomial random variable then its probability mass function is probability of x which is equal to n factorial into p to the power x into q to the power n minus x whole divided by x factorial into n minus x factorial important conditions for applying binomial distribution each trial has only two outcomes the probability of outcome of any trial remains fixed over the time and the trials are statistically independent that is the outcome of one trial 
does not influence the outcome of other for example consider an exam that contains 10 multiple choice questions with four possible choices for each question only one of which is correct suppose a student is to select the answer for every question randomly let x be the number of questions the student answers correctly then x has a binomial distribution with parameters n is equal to 10 and p is equal to 1 by 4 that is 0.25 now what is the probability for the student to get no answer correct here x is equal to 0 so probability of 0 which is equal to 10 factorial into 0.25 raised to 0 into bracket 1 minus 0.25 raised to 10 minus 0 whole divided by 0 factorial into 10 minus 0 factorial which is equal to 0 0.0563 that is 5.63 is the probability that no answer will be correct. We can also use Excel to find probability related to binomial distribution random variable the number of successes x in the end trials and it is calculated as probability which is equal to binom dist x n p and 0. For above example probability of 0 which is equal to binom dist into bracket 0 10 0.25 and 0 which is equal to 0 0.0563 that is 5.63 percentage. The normal approximation to the binomial. Using the normal distribution, a continuous distribution as a substitute for binomial distribution that is a discrete distribution for large values of n seems reasonable because as n increases a binomial distribution gets closer and closer to a normal distribution. The normal probability distribution is generally deemed to a good approximation to the binomial probability distribution when np and n into 1 minus p are both greater than 5. That is p is equal to 0.5 then n should be greater than or equal to 10. 2. Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution also describes discrete data. That is situations where the random variable can take integer values. For example, number of patients arriving at a physician's office, number of cars arriving at a toll booth, measures of central tendency and dispersion. For the Poisson distribution, mean is equal to number of occurrences per interval of time, which is denoted by lambda, and standard deviation, which is equal to square root of mean, which is equal to square root of lambda. Let x be a Poisson random variable then its probability mass function is probability of x which is equal to lambda raised to x into e to the power minus lambda whole divided by x factorial. For example, typos. The number of typographical errors in a big textbook is a Poisson distribution with a mean of 1.5 per 100 pages. Suppose 100 pages of the book are randomly selected. What is the probability that there are no typos? Here x is equal to 0 and lambda is equal to 1.5 and probability of 0 which is equal to 1.5 raised to 0 into e to the power minus 1.5 whole divided by 0 factorial which is equal to 0.2231 that is 22.31 percentage is the probability that there will be no typos. We can also use excel to find probabilities related to Poisson distribution random variable the number of occurrences x in an interval and which is calculated at probability which is equal to Poisson, x, lambda and 0. For the above example, probability of 0 which is equal to Poisson, 0, 1.5 and 0 which is equal to 0 0.2231. The normal approximation to the Poisson. When n is greater than 20 or when the number of observation is very large, it has been statistically proven that the Poisson distributions becomes a very good approximation of the binomial distribution. And as seen earlier, the normal probability distribution is generally deemed a good approximation to the binomial probability distribution when np and n into 1 minus p are both greater than 5. Conclusion Both binomial distribution and Poisson distribution are used for discrete variables, but there are some differences too. Let's see them one by one. one in binomial distribution, there are only two possible outcomes, that is success or failure, whereas 
in poisson distribution there can be unlimited number of possible outcomes two binomial distribution is one in which the probability of repeated number of trials are studied whereas poisson distribution gives the count of independent events occur randomly with a given period of time for example experiment of tossing a coin and typo errors in a large book in binomial distribution mean is equal to np and which is greater than variance which is equal to npq whereas in poisson distribution mean is equal to variance which is equal to lambda and the last four binomial distribution has a constant probability of success whereas poisson has a infinite simal chance of success this is all about distribution for discrete variables i will explain distribution of continuous variables in next video and then we go for a msi now to end please like this video if you have found it useful share this video to your friend and colleagues to improve and refresh their knowledge if you want to get updates of such videos from my channel please do not forget to subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get all the notifications and finally thank you for watching